Welcome back. A bit more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. I think we should entitle this Finding Massimo 3. Um, we're going to play Imperial Gardening again. Uh, this time with the teeny cups. And we're going to get an extra penalty shot for every time we hit a bunker. Which should concentrate my mind, hopefully. Uh, gallery wise, we've got our friendly there again. Being all smug. So. Uh, not a lot of point taking the sand vibe here, because if I go in the in the sand, it's it's just tolerable. So we should be trying to stay out of sand. So we'll go with the grass cutter. Um, teeny cups, which means getting close, is going to be critical. Because putting from distance with these things is ridiculously difficult. Particularly on this course, because you've got those multi-tier greens. And trying to read them is just interesting the best of times. And your margin for error, you know, particularly when you've got kind of a 15 footer that you know you normally expect to get in with the teeny cups, you know, you've kind of got two thirds of the target to aim at, so all those little edge ones you drop, you know, don't drop. Um, yeah, but I think lesson learned from last time is I've got to get rid of those big holes, those big mistake holes, because um, I'd have I'd have beaten Massimo last time by the requisite three shots, but for you know a couple of double bogeys so if we can cut the mistakes out and birdies and pars we should be in good shape so normal wind we had light wind last time which kind of adds a little bit of a little bit of interest but we should be fine we should be fine um, I might just take the power shot because I was pretty close last time with no wind and that tailwind will just push me a bit I mean luckily that last bit of fairway is uphill so it should kind of soak up any of you oh jeez that kick nearly put me in the um, in the bunker straight up wow okay so got a little bit of tail but I actually do want to just hit past it and try and bring it back Maybe I should have tried the backspin ball on this one. Well, that's okay. So I've got a nine footer. And again, it's just such a tight hole. So this is probably this is probably a cut left and a little bit firm. Let's see how we do. Just. I should tell you anything over ten foot. Is going to be deeply interesting. Okay, so Massimo's a couple of holes ahead. Okay, right. Again, this one we can kind of just drive it, not worry too much. A um, little bit of headwind, so I'll just try and play it left to right. Just to get, get through that gap. But of course, I don't want to end up in that bunker. Okay, I'll do. So this is going to kick left, so I need to keep it right. I'll do anyway because I just don't want to have anything to do with that bunker. Okay. Oh, neat shot! Yeah, and I don't mind that it's right because I think not coming in over that bunker is preferable. Oh, well oh nearly a twenty footer. Don't let the eagle slip. Where it's quite uphill. Waking to the left. So maybe it's there. Maybe it's there. We've got to hit it firm though. Is that gonna break? Oh just didn't think that was gonna break enough there. So I've repeated on birdie eagle start. There's a boy Massimo. Massimo's got a birdie. And again, this is about not making the mistake. Okay, so the mistake last time was we tried to skip and we had that upset. And of course, we just clipped sort of the front edge there. So I'm not going to play the power shot because we've got the tailwind as well. So I do kind of want it to skip in the water. Um, I may even back off it. Just to make sure if we do clip the land, we don't, yeah, 
We don't want it to skip and end up in the water. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Brakes, 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 brakes. Wow. Okay. I need to back off that a little bit more there, really. Okay. No room to work with here at all. But we'll lose a fair bit of the the pace with the... Because we're on bare ground, so maybe about there. Let's try and stop it. Okay. Not ups, never in, as they say. Okay, that gives me a birdie shout. So, it's uphill to come. Let's be firm with it. Yeah. Okay, so that puts us full under. And a mistake up, if you see what I mean. Where's Massimo? Massimo's second, three shots ahead. Okay. Because we made a mistake there last time. And I got lucky here last time, didn't I? I got a really nice bounce. But again, this will get slowed down a little bit by the wind. The problem is if I pitch on that, that little hillock just in front of the cursor, I'm going to pitch right in the sand. Can I go up here? I could play for up here. It's going to leave me a longer approach, but I've got more certainty of staying on the on the good stuff. Let's play for that. Oh, that's going to go way left. I have no idea where that's gone. Ah, it's in a bunker. So I've got a long shot, and I'm 160 yards away. And we had that little talk about not making mistakes. I just, I don't think I can do that. Where are we at? Where are we at? Okay, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Let's try the powered 7 iron. Let's try and get it up. Oh, I got it up. Oh, let me drop another shot. Well, I don't know. You can never discuss about not making mistakes. And then you can make two mistakes. So what's going to happen? That's going like to break. It's going to break left, and then it's going to come back to the right. But I think overall it's probably a left break. Certainly going to need a bit of pace on it. Oh, line wasn't bad. It was just over here. And that's a tricky putt, to be fair. For a seven. Oh, triple bogey. Oh. It's frustrating, though, to know what you need to do to not, to not do this. And still not do it. Okay. Masterful. Again, we're just trying to set that bunker out of play. Wow. <laughs> Careful of the line. <laughs> nice save. <sighs> they just aren't words, are they? Sometimes. Just, just no words for it. You just gotta smile, put the hole out of your head, play the next shot. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. You just gotta put it out your head, play the next shot. Take the coins, take the gems, power up your clubs. Oh, fifteen. It is, Master Man. I got a tailwind, so that's that's got to be the show. And at this point, we're going for it. Come on, Master Horse. Oh, it's going to be Sandy. Yeah. Let's 
Maybe I should have packed the Sand Viper. Oh, nice shot. I mean, I've spent a lot of time in there. Probably given five shots to it. I can power some clubs up, I suppose. That's the other thing we can do. Which is always kind of handy. Just kind of make your clubs, you know, get a bit of control score and backspin and what have you. I mean, power is what I need to approach with, really. I mean, Massimo's just taunting me by getting exactly the same skill. Thanks, Massimo. At least he's kind of saving face for me. Uh, and we'll go for this skip again. because it's quite high it kind of deadens it doesn't it you're sort of expecting it to to skitter on I suppose if you use the um, if you use the that's probably the shot isn't it um, if you were using the super low ball you'd probably get a better um, skip off it because you come at a lower trajectory I mean that's out the back isn't it but hey, I'm there for two. Ooh. Oh! Oh, that was well, nice. Yeah. Go for the birdie. I'll take the birdie, though. But Mass make him tough birdie? No, he didn't. I mean, in an other world, he drops a shot, I get a shot. Is a part three. You never know. Okay. That needs another club. Oh, Nietzsche! That's not a bad line. Just, you know, slightly over here. Oh, see the downhill ones that break downhill. are just hard because right to the left. you've got to hit it gently, but of course that just means it breaks more. So it's really hard. It, it's kind of sensitivity is the wrong way. See, and the pace affects the break. It's just one of the most difficult parts. Those downhill ones that break. But hey, you get a flat one coming back. Well done. So let's see what we need to do on the last. I need a miracle. <laughs> so I either need an eagle or I need Massimo to drop a shot, really. Um, and we got a headwind, which is, you know, gonna take the take the eagle out of the equation, isn't it? You'd think. Oh and I didn't realise I didn't have a power shot there. So I actually had to have perfect impact. So that was a that was a that was a mistake potentially, but I got away with it. Okay. So one forty six headwind bunker at the back, but of course it's a bunker at the back. So this is going to take a bit off it. Not a lot of room to play with. Let's play for the bunker. It should come up short, especially with that much altitude on it. Yeah, come on, come on the front of the green. Roll with it. Gives us a chance there. Looks like it's up. Let's see where we go. Oh wow, I didn't take enough there. No wow. That's the dream gone. Take the par. Even <laughs> So one under. Oh, I don't know. You know, you're kind of thinking, what if, what if, actually the birdie wouldn't be enough either. I need the eagle there. So it's a win. Um, feels like a loss. Golf level probably went down as well, perversely. 
I've got seven under there. Maybe without the bunker penalty here. Yeah, Goff have went down, that's not a surprise. Without much sand, it's inevitable because you um, Green's in regulation and your fair base and regulation drops. Okay, we'll see you next time. Massimo, still there, taunting me. Uh, we might just rename this series Finding Massimo. Uh, I'll speak to you next time. Please subscribe. Please have a look at my um, other series on Golf Story, and I'll see you soon.